We can save a life just by asking one question. Northwell Health, New York State's largest health system, is encouraging parents to ask others about the status of guns in their homes. That's right. This clicked with one mom who is now sharing why it's so very important to initiate this difficult conversation. It's a G thing. G thing. Brought to you by Northwell, who believes when we raise health, we raise everyone. Northwell, raise health. A new awareness campaign by Northwell Health is hoping to get parents talking and save lives. We just wanted to ask, and it's totally cool. There's no issue. The, uh, um, the tiger. Um, and we were just wondering if he'll be locked up. Yeah, will the tiger be locked up for the whole time? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. The commercial, It Doesn't Kill to Ask, is actually referencing the awkward conversation that parents should be having regarding guns in others' homes. It's a very, very difficult conversation to have. Gael Kleska, who is a mom and pediatric nurse, has seen firsthand the effects of gun violence. I get to see what's really going on you know, as far as the, the effects of gun violence and, you know, when these children come in and they ask me questions, why did this happen to me? And parents are crying. She has already started asking her friends whether they have guns and if they're locked up before she drops her child off at someone else's home. It's a very uncomfortable conversation to have with parents, but once we normalize it more and we talk about it amongst groups of you know, parents, it makes it much better. Four years ago, Michael Dowling, president and CEO of Northwell Health, said he decided to take a stance on gun safety and prevention after several high profile shootings. Why is Northwell taking a leadership role in gun violence? This, quite frankly, is a public health issue. The leading cause of death among children and adolescents is gun violence. So if I'm concerned about children's health, and I'm concerned about the leading cause of death, then we have to stand up and say something. You have a new awareness campaign called It Doesn't Kill to Ask. Can you tell us a little bit about it? We're basically saying if our kid goes, to, using this example, if our kid goes to another person's home, we should ask the question, if you have a gun in the home, is it on the lock and key? That's what the ad campaign uh, this version of it is intended to do, to make it comfortable to ask the question. Following Michael's lead, more than a thousand hospitals and health associations across the country have joined the gun safety movement. I made it very, very clear from day one, I'm not challenging the Second Amendment, which is, uh, you know, the right to own a gun. I was more focused on uh, safety and prevention. Think about the health of your child. And that's just what Gael has done as she takes the lead in opening the conversation in her community. What is your message to other parents? Silence is not going to save lives. It's an important message because look, yeah. we have certainly covered so many tragedies, uh, you know, that could have been prevented had a gun been locked up. Mm -hmm. This Maybe is uh, considered uncomfortable, but yeah. you know, once you do, I think the other parent may, will respect you. Yeah, for absolutely, that. yeah. This is a big deal, guys. This is going to be a very big deal because remember, way back when it was driving and it's impossible to change things, and and the kids are going to drink and they're going to drive, and all of a sudden it's a designated driver and their airbags, and kids are much safer. This is going to be an important campaign, and you got to ask the question, listen very carefully to the answer. Uh, the campaign rolled out across the country uh, at the end of uh, this month and uh, and we're going to follow this story very very carefully and we're glad to be part of it meaning the station 